Sigmund Freud's theory of psychosexual development. This is going to sound like a weird one, but imagine how weird it sounded right at the end of the Victorian era in 1905 when Freud first published his theory. Freud believed that life was built around tension and pleasure. He also believed that all tension was due to the buildup of libido. And libido is sexual energy, and all pleasure ultimately came from its discharge. Freud's theory is not supported by research, but it is still very important historically. Freud was the first one to come up with the developmental theory, and everyone else who developed theories afterwards are basically standing on Freud's shoulders. Freud's idea was that if you successfully made it through one stage, you would enter the next stage. But people who do not successfully make it through a stage become fixated. And fixated people can have problems for the rest of their life. Each stage relates to an erogenous zone, where Freud says that a child gets sexual pleasure. The first stage is the oral stage, and usually it lasts from birth until about one year old. So if you think about a newborn baby, and what you see is babies are all about the mouth. Even when a baby is first born, it has a rooting reflex to find the mother's breast. Babies experience the world through their mouths. If you notice a baby with a toy, toy will always go in the mouth. Babies chew on the side of the crib. Everything is about the mouth. So you can see where Freud would think that the mouth is the erogenous zone for a baby. You know the old cliche that if you go to therapy, the therapist is going to blame everything on your mother? Well, that really does ring true when it comes to Sigmund Freud. And you got to think about, you know, the era when he lived. Back in those days, the mother was always the primary parent. The father did very little except for uh, provide money for the family to live on. So some of the stages really depend on the mother doing the right thing. In the oral stage, if the mother is stingy when it comes to breastfeeding, the baby can become fixated. If the mother is overindulgent when it comes to breastfeeding, the baby also becomes fixated. An adult who is orally fixated is someone who continues to have issues relating to oral stimulation. He would say an orally aggressive person who's been fixated chews gum and chews the ends of pencils and pans. Someone who is orally passive will do a lot of smoking and eating and kissing. Also oral sexual practices. Freud also believed that someone who was orally fixated could also become a passive, gullible, immature, or manipulative person as an adult. Stage two, the anal stage. This stage goes from age one to age three, and it's pretty easy to see where Freud came up with this. The main developmental milestone for a one to three-year-old is learning how to potty train. So he sort of believes the kid's life revolves around potty training and the anus is the erogenous zone. Again, we put the blame squarely on the poor mother's shoulders. If the mother is overly aggressive with potty training, the child becomes fixated and becomes anal retentive. And anal retentive, really the modern term for it would probably be OCD. In fact, in popular culture, we still use the term anal to refer to somebody who's very uptight and fastidious. Anal retentive people are obsessively organized and excessively neat. If the mother is too lax in the potty training, the child becomes anal expulsive. So this is the polar opposite of anal retentive. Anal retentive is like being uh, emotionally constipated and anal expulsive is like emotional diarrhea. People who are anal expulsive are reckless, careless, sometimes defiant, highly disorganized, sloppy, and unkempt. The phallic stage is stage three and it runs from three years old to six years old. The erogenous zone for the phallic stage is the genitalia. A phallus is a penis, but it's not 
not the same thing as the genital stage, which is mature sexuality. This is more of an exploratory thing. So at this age, you see children play doctor. You also see children touch themselves a lot and just seem to have a new focus on their own genitals. Now he says that during this stage, little boys will go through the Oedipus complex and little girls will go through the Electra complex. At this stage, the child falls in love with the opposite sex parents. So little boys fall in love with their mother, little girls fall in love with their father. If you remember Oedipus from Greek mythology, he's a guy who married his own mother. And again, you can sort of see Freud's reasoning here. This is an age when we talk about mama's boy and daddy's girl and that kind of stuff. The way the kids get through this stage is they take a look at the competition. So you got a little boy and all of a sudden he looks at his dad and realizes this dude is a giant and he does not have a chance. The girl does the same thing looking at the mother. And so the way the child successfully navigates the complex is by identifying with the competition. So if you can't beat them, join them. So you notice little boys, maybe if the dad is into football, little boy starts showing an interest in football. Little girl, the mom is in Taekwondo. The little girl wants to be in Taekwondo. You see them uh, copying mannerisms and that kind of stuff. People who become fixated in the phallic stage grow up to be promiscuous and have low self-esteem. The next stage is the latency stage. And this goes from age six all the way to puberty. Think about what happens at age six. Well, the child goes to school, goes into first grade, and it's really the first time in a child's life where the parents are not in the picture for a big chunk of the day. Now, Freud calls this the latency stage because there is no erogenous zone here. On this one, he says children take this libido, this sexual energy, and invest it in all the things that kids do at that age. So they learn to read and write. They learn how to get along with other kids. They go to scouts. They go to dance. They play sports and they develop friendships. A person who is fixated in the latency stage develops sort of Peter Pan syndrome where they kind of never grow up. So an adult who is fixated in the latency stage will be immature and often have difficulty forming, fulfilling non-sexual relationships. So they have a hard time making friends. The final stage goes from puberty to death. Floyd thinks that your development ends at about age 13. This is the genital stage and and it is mature adult sexual development. Here, the successful person will develop meaningful and lasting uh, sexual relationships. People who are unsuccessful in the genital stage are often frigid, impotent, perverted, and unable to form healthy sexual relationships.